Okay, let's take a look at the IPVO camera. This is um, the IPVO camera. This is a camera that we've utilized in the district for several years. It's a product that we've been very, very happy with. This is a product that you can use to record student performances. Um, you can use it to just project something up on, on your projector um, for students to see. It's something that could be used to take photos. There's lots of um, options with this camera. It's, it's a very powerful tool. Um, it, it comes with an IPVO visualizer software, which is what you will, you will use to um, you know, take videos and, and take photos and so forth. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda exit out of this um, uh, presentation. We'll go over to Google. And once you're in Google, up in the top left-hand corner, if you have already installed the IPVO visualizer, it will be one of the um, icons in here to utilize. So if you just go over and you click on the IPVO um, visualizer, it will open with basically um, the, the tools that are you can utilize with your camera. So I, I moved that to full screen. And the best way to get familiar with this is to just kind of play around and look and see what each feature does. So what's playing right now is live footage. So if, as, as I'm waving underneath of um, the camera, that's what's displaying up on the screen. So if we look at a little closer at some of the features up here, if you click on the icons, that first icon allows you to select multiple cameras. So if you had, you know, you have had this connected to your Chromebook, which you can easily do, then you have multiple cameras on your Chromebook. So you could change what's displaying up here to the camera that's on the Chromebook, or you could use the docking camera as well. The next feature that you see down is a magnifying glass. That's how you zoom. So if I click on that magnifying glass, it gives me features where I can zoom in, digitally zoom in on something. That would be a feature you might use in a science classroom or something like that. The next one down is, um, it allows you to rotate. So you can rotate the image um, digitally. So as, as I click these around, you can see that it's just rotating that. And the next one is you can change your resolution. So higher and lower resolution, higher quality, so forth. Um, as you work your way down the screen, down here, this is what lets you jump back and forth between your live view and recorded videos. So if I click on that, you can see that I have like six videos in there that I've recorded. Once you've recorded a video, if you select one, notice that I've selected and it's in green, you can play it from here or you can also download it. So if I go to the bottom um, right-hand corner of my screen, I could click the trash can, which would delete that video, or I could click this folder and it would automatically download that video to my downloads folder on this PC. To toggle back to go to your live view, you just go back to the camera and you toggle back and now we're back at the live view and, and so forth. So I'm gonna minimize this screen and, um, and basically talk about some of the other features in here. So you have some other icons down here. If you click on these, that's, that's gonna let you emphasize certain things. So you're scrolling up and down and then looks like a snowflake. That's going to um, reveal certain things. Okay, so as you scroll through there, it might review text. So if you had a text document on there and you just wanted to see one row, that's what that feature would do. And that's the, the book there. And that's pretty much, you know, kind of an introduction of, of what the IPVO camera does and um, how it might be able to be utilized. So I'd just say, you know, get your hands on one of those cameras and, and jump in and start using it.